Everybody, Matty Flip here. I'm going to show you guys how to set up MattyBot in OBS so that you can have the top fans overlay, get your sound effects to play through OBS. Um, the only thing that you won't be able to do with MattyBot through OBS is give voices to the people in your chat. Uh, so that being said, I have been getting a lot of questions about this. A lot of people hit me up, so I felt that it was necessary that I make a video on how to do this, um, and we're going to keep it as short as possible. So. Uh, just to get right into it guys, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link right up here at the top, traycoolable.com forward slash mattybot hyphen p-a-r-d-o forward slash question mark obs underscore mode equal sign true little ampersand sign y-n underscore name equals and then at the end of that you're going to put your you now name whatever your name on you now is you're going to put at the end of that and then you're going to follow the next steps so for now what i'm going to do is I'm, i know half dz's on so i'm going to use him as an example so we're going to go to half dz which i already i already did here so now it's connected this is now connected to his stream and we now have his top fans over here on the left the chat's going to start moving over here and I can I can kind of control everything from here. But this isn't in OBS yet and, and it doesn't make sense to do a window capture. And for this, what we want to do is actually I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And all you're going to do, this is the easiest thing in the world, guys. Highlight the URL at the top here in the browser, right? Make sure all of it's highlighted. Click there and press Control A and then just drag this over to OBS just like this over your scene it's going to be the top layer uh, of your scene and then it's going to give you this little pop-up that says you've dragged a URL into OBS this will automatically add the link as a browser source do you want to continue and it, and it has the URL right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click yes and all of a sudden I'm going to have MattyBot here in OBS and it's the right size already so from this point I can't interact with it. All I can do is move it around if I wanted to. So what you need to do is you need to either right click here on the on the source or down here in the bottom section under sources, you can click right click there and you're gonna click interact. All right? And that's gonna open up this separate window. It's gonna allow you to interact with the browser within OBS. Um, now what I do normally is I make it nice and big so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to do that for you guys so you can see what you're doing. What you want to do is click on, okay, got it. This shouldn't pop up after you guys do this for the first time in OBS. And every time you connect, this will automatically, automatically connect to your stream. And if it doesn't, all you have to do is click on the source down here in the sources list and click this little refresh button in the bottom middle section underneath the preview of your stream. And that'll refresh it and reconnect it to your stream. Um, now what you want to do from here is also you want to go to the properties and you want to click on control audio via OBS This is very important guys. This is how you get you're able to control the volume of the sounds uh, The sound effects that are coming through a lot easier this way So you're gonna click control volume via OBS and then you're gonna um, make sure that nothing else is checked off here Just that and the width and height should automatically be set to 1280 and 720 if you want a much crisper display, then you can change this to 1920 by 1080, um, 1920 up top here and the height by 1080, uh, and, and that's it. Then you hit OK, it's gonna refresh, and we're good to go. Now from here, to add your sounds, what you need to do, see now we have another section here, another audio source here, underneath my, my desktop audio, which I don't, I don't want my desktop audio to play, because then you'll get echoing from your guests. Um, so what I do is I usually mute the desktop audio and here this I can rename this if I wanted to we can rename it this is the MattyBot sounds. Alright MattyBot sounds. Now I have my own audio channel down here that is just for the sounds that are going to come through this browser source and I can control the volume very easily right here. But to add those sounds you need to go back right click on it again click interact and now you can click this button right here This says add effect it's gonna bring a pop-up up I don't think I have anything saved on this PC but you would add your file right here you click upload and then it'll bring up a, a window that'll prompt you to choose a file you're gonna name it and then you're gonna click add effect and what happens is it adds it all the way to the bottom right before 
the load more button, that's where it adds that new effect. And it might not be in the same spot when you refresh the next time you go live. So if you don't see it there, don't worry. It should still be there unless for some reason you deleted the browser source. <clears throat> All right. Um, so once you have that new effect uploaded, you want to click on, uh, let's do the sound here. So we're going to click on Oh Man, and you're going to click on this little pencil. And this will give you a bunch of other options. You have the, the same page we just saw. And then you also have these three other tabs. The export tab is doesn't do anything right now. The two important ones are the settings and the triggers here. So the triggers is going to allow you to add a chat trigger. So if I wanted to, somebody to say, oh man, whenever this, uh, you know, I want this sound to go off, I would put in, oh man, and then save. Now, whenever someone types, oh man, in the chat, it'll actually play this sound effect instead of reading it out out loud and this is the thing the other thing that I wanted to explain to you guys is that for the chat voices for the people here in the chat um, as you can see it's not playing any sounds so um, the reason for that is is because when you click on the settings here uh, we have the audience voices it's number one it's off number two even if I did turn that on the default voice if I click on it there's literally no voices installed in OBS so this is why the the, the text-to-speech uh, for the chat does not work within OBS and you do need to open Matibot in a different browser than what you have you now on and I'm gonna show you guys why here in a moment uh, the reason why is because if you do want to separate your audio later on down the line and you do want to have th those chat voices uh, and things like that you would need a program like this um, which is voice meter banana and the reason why you want two separate browsers is because all of your stuff for you now is going to go through one channel and everything else, Matibot, your music, everything, your games is all going to go through a second channel and this is the program you need in order to do that. If you have Mac, uh, I have, I've heard Loopback is a really good one, um, but Voice Meter Banana is always what I recommend to, to anybody that maybe doesn't have the best PC but still wants to be able to do these kinds of things. Um, Voice Meter Banana is a good mid-range virtual audio mixer for, uh, for people. I know it's a little intimidating and confusing with all this stuff, but I will go over the Voice Meter stuff in a different video because I want to keep this as short as possible. This is really mainly about this right here and getting Matibot into OBS. So now from here, the very last thing you need to do, well, first of all, we need to scroll back up in that interact window. Keep in mind, anytime you do something in here while you're live, it happens on the screen as well. So you're, if you scroll down, your audience is going to see you scrolling down. You can't avoid that, unfortunately. Um, so the very last thing is, is you got to crop this. You just want this transparent section right here where my 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 overlays are my animations are and everything so what I what I do at least on a Windows this is the easiest way to do it hold down the alt button on your keyboard and then you see these little red boxes in the corners right here you can drag these in and it'll actually crop it for you so I drag this one in just a little bit the bottom one we drag up just inside that gray line there doesn't have to be perfect um, the right side get the chat out of there and then the top just a little bit as well and then from here this is our it should already be the right aspect ratio for you to just drag this and make it bigger and then all you got to do from there is add your camera behind this you can make the uh, if you go into the interact again you can make this smaller if you want you can move it around within the interact and that's how you move your top fans from wherever it is if you want it and if you click on the top fans sorry you click on the top fans you can actually change the size of it as well so if it's too big or it's not big enough you can drag this slider right here you can choose what fonts you want the text color you can put in URLs here for different um, first second and third place top fans um, I just leave them blank but anyway you can take this and here's the thing if I move fast watch what happens it just highlights it so what you need to do is just move this really slow if you're trying to move it across the screen or to a different section um, but move it where you want once it's there you just close this and let it let it do its thing 
do you do a little preparation work to get all of your animations and your sounds and everything in there and you should be good to go guys if you have any questions please check out my stream on Tuesdays we do Tech Talk Tuesday and I'm gonna be doing a lot more tutorials like this thank you very much guys and I will talk to you soon